Hello friends, welcome to the Alpha Point. I'm Vishal, and today the ROM that we are going to look on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is the Phoenix 16.7. It got released on 28 December 2013, and it is based on Android Jelly Bean 4.3. If you can see here, and the release date Phoenix ROM version. So it is basically improved version of the previous ROM 15.7, and it has got all the features of Note 3, the transparent with the widget, the search options, the five dock applications, options to add folder in the home screen, and since the uh, pin is out, and the five recommended shortcuts to use S Pen here. See the application store, what are the applications has been provided. So the S Note, the new S Note here the user interface from the note 3 just test this out right anything it has improved a lot i am using it from two days i the first version released was 16 then it got updated to 16.3 then 16.5 and then finally 16.7 the 16.3 had got some bugs in battery issue and some bugs in key light so it got fixed and the new version that has been provided 16.7 has improved a lot in the battery life and it is giving me more than a day to me i would say more than one and a half day if you are a moderate user and it can also give two days if you don't use much so let's see what is has been in the lock screen first so in lock screen we have the default lock screen of node 3 with of the effects of node 3 here as you can see if we swipe from right to left we can see our favorite applications and we can change it and we can add any other application or remove the application here or you can change it to show this just a camera app application here and if we swipe from left to right we can see the options to add widgets here so you can add more widgets as you want let's add music application it has been added here so the features of note 3 on android jelly 4.3 see the app drawer the application that we got in this from the s note scrapbook gallery application the camera music video chat on the video application has been changed completely in this version as you can see it has got a playback version it is the video is already playing in the background here so got a new update in the gallery application video application here the chat on clock explainer email help option you can see all the options here and if you need any help you can just treat all those help in here the samsung apps application has been updated here we have got a folder options in app drawer too so you can see the applications here the calculator new calculator has been provided we have a one hand operation on so you can see the applications here if you hover over s pen on it it will show the application inside that folder we have got a camera from the nexus device so basically it is the same camera but it has got a photosphere here so that you can take a 360 degree picture in that node too so but it is sometimes laggy as you can see it is lagging the user interface is not so clear here in the camera application too but only in the photosphere mode otherwise it is completely fine we have a clock options a clock application fm radio is still the gallery application this gallery application is of the camera application of nexus device we have s suggest a node hd has been provided and es file browse explorer has been provided too we have the default my files also the flash grid has been provided the gear manager has been provided and the multi-window manager and the default applications has been provided 
and you can choose to install these applications or just you can't install you got the options to install it in the aroma installer when you install this rom so you can opt in or don't opt in as your choice see the notification panel here just click here and see all the options here so we have the smart stay smart pause smart scroll everything's working fine the air view the reading mode has been added from node 3 screen reading and air gesture is not working uh, since the the sensor has been not provided in the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 was not present here we can edit the notification panel just clicking there or we can see the new option brightness has been added from Note 3 so just go to the time and date setting by clicking in the notification panel and go to, or go to settings by clicking there we have a tabbed version of settings here and we got a search option from node 3 the wi-fi is enabled we have four different tabs connections device controls and general so first tab contains all the settings related to connections airplane mode mobile networks vpn nfc sp so these are provided here the device contains the first options of phoenix extra into which you can change you can customize your device as you want you can change everything you want here from the navigation bar to status bar you can add navigation bar you can choose the battery choose a lock cat cac samsung secret codes have been provided which will be handy for you if you want to use that the export installer has been provided in the settings here you can customize as you want and you can change the dps settings of any application or the home drawer the touchways application but if you change the dpi of the touchways or the default launcher you will face some problem as it is not completely uh, it has some bugs there so just don't change the dpi of the launcher just you can change the dpi of any application that will work pretty fine So we have the customization here, the sound setting, the default display settings here, torch light, reading mode is here, daydream has been added. So we have multi window options here, lock screen, see the lock screen that has been provided here. So we have signature pattern, pin, password, face unlock options here in the lock screen options you can add the owner information in the lock screen unlock effect you can change the unlock effect to the light mode of samsung galaxy note samsung galaxy s4 so the light effect you can add that we have the ed mo easy mode of default home screen accessibility call options in controls we have language and input see the languages has been which has been provided here so these are the languages that has been provided pretty good number of languages here more than 60 languages is present here that's good the expense settings one hand operation as you can see one hand operation is working pretty fine you can change the its position and you can resize this too Causing some bugs here. You can see. Let me make this full screen. Do it from left. So as you can see, it is working pretty fine. So these are has been provided here. The air gesture command, motion sensor, smart screen, touch screen, easy and the general options where we have the general settings of our device. So the best feature of Note 3 that has imported here is the air command feature. As you can see here, just press it down the button in the your S pen and you will see the options to action memo, scrapbook, screen write, S finder. So let's try the screen write and we'll just capture your screen and just write anything that you want and it has been saved here so 
and everything's working fine see the s memo here write any number and integrate this to call option and you can see it is going the way i wanted and it has gone into minimized option here let's open this and close this so everything is working fine and we have a mul new multi window from node 3 so it has changed you can change its position from left to right and from right to left you can uh, open multiple window like your desktop pc the gallery application is not working here it is going in full screen mode you can minimize the applications too you can open more than two application and you can minimize or you can resize the application too you can make it full screen by clicking there or just click on the close option and it will be closed the bug is here present in the multi window and the pen window manager is that a black square has is been showing everywhere so it needs to be fixed and let's see the multi pen window here so open any application so here it is the pen window of node 3 in node 2 open different application at the same time you can minimize the application so you can use different application at the same time so this is it and the final verdict on this rom is that you can install it it has got a pretty awesome battery life you want if you want to use this rom as a regular use and don't want any other roms like jitto tigra Sortmax, and you can definitely go for this rom as it has improved from its previous version greatly out and it has based on the new firmware and got a pretty awesome battery life let's see let me show you the battery life so it is at present it is 72 percent here the screen usage is i used this just for one hour and it is going to 15 hours and 43 minutes so it was on 90 percent when i opened it from the charger port so 92 just 18 percent went down in 15 hours and with one hour of usage so as you can see the battery percentage is pretty awesome so there is one bug in the battery lag like the battery widgets will go disappear after if you after a minute or two so this bug is present in all of the roms of which contains uh, which contains the node 3 features so it needs to be fixed so that's it from this video guys uh, hope you liked it and hope you install this rom too um, see you next time thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you